Welcome to today's scripture reading with the Yabaji, and today's scripture reading is Kanok or Enoch chapter 90, and it reads as follows. And I observed during the time that thus thirty-seven shepherds were overlooking all of whom finished in their respective periods as the first, others then received them into their hands, that they might overlook them in their respective periods, every shepherd in his own period. Afterwards I saw in the vision that all the birds of heaven arrived, eagles, the avest, kites, and ravens, the eagle instructed them all. They began to devour the sheep to peck out their eyes and to eat up their bodies. The sheep then cried out, for their bodies were devoured by the birds. I also cried out and groaned in my sleep against the shepherd which overlooked the flock. And I looked while the sheep were eaten up by the dogs by the eagles and by the kites. They neither left them their body nor their skin nor their muscles until their bones alone remained, until their bones fell upon the ground and the sheep became diminished. I observed likewise during the time that twenty-three shepherds were overlooking who completed in their respective periods fifty-eight periods. Then were small lambs born of those white sheep who began to open their eyes and to see, crying out to the sheep. The sheep, however, cried not out to them, neither did they hear what they uttered to them, but were deaf, blind, and obdurate in the greatest degrees. I saw in the vision that ravens flew down upon those lambs, that they seized one of them, and that, tearing the sheep in pieces, they devoured them. I saw also that the horns grew upon those lambs, and that the ravens lighted down upon their horns. I saw, too, that a large horn sprouted out on an animal among the sheep, and that their eyes were opened. He looked at them, their eyes were wide open, and he cried out to them. Then the Debella saw him, all of whom ran to him, and besides this all the eagles, the avest, the ravens, and the kites were still carrying off the sheep, flying down upon them and devouring them. The sheep were silent, but the Dabella lamented and cried out. Then the ravens contended and struggled with them. They wished among them to break his horn, but they prevailed not over him. I looked on them until the shepherds, the eagles, the avest, and the kites came who cried out to the ravens to break the horn of the Dabella, to contend with him and to kill him. But he struggled with them and cried out that help might come to him. Then I perceived that the man came who had written down the names of the shepherds and who ascended up before Yahuwah of the sheep. He brought assistance and caused everyone to see him descending to the help of the Dabella. I perceived likewise that Yahuwah of the sheep came to them in wrath, while all those who saw him fled away. All fell down in his tabernacle before his face, while all the eagles, the avest, ravens, and kites assembled and brought with them all the sheep of the field all came together and strove 
to break the horn of the Dabella. Then I saw that the man who wrote the Sefer at the word of Yahuwah opened the Sefer of destruction of that destruction which the last twelve shepherds wrought and pointed out before Yahuwah of the sheep that they destroyed more than those who preceded them. I saw also that Yahuwah of the sheep came to them and taking in his hand the scepter of his wrath seized the earth which became rent asunder while all the beasts and birds of heaven fell from the sheep and sunk into the earth which closed over them. I saw too that a large sword was given to the sheep who went forth against all the beasts of the field to slay them. But all the beasts and birds of heaven fled away from before their face, and I saw a throne erected in a delectable land. Upon this sat Yahuwah of the sheep, who received all the sealed sephirim, which were open before him. Then Yahuwah called the first seven white ones and commanded them to bring before him the first of the first stars, which preceded the stars whose form partly resembled that of horses, the first star which fell down first, and they brought them all before him. And he spoke to the man who wrote in his presence, who was one of the seven white ones, saying, Take those seventy shepherds to whom I delivered up the sheep, and receiving them killed more of them than I commanded. Behold, I saw them all bound and standing before him. First came on the trial of the stars, which, being judged and found guilty, went to the place of punishment. They thrust them into the deep, full of flaming fire and full of pillars of fire. Then the seventy shepherds were judged and being found guilty were thrust into the flaming abyss. At that time, likewise, I perceived that one abyss was thus open in the midst of the earth, which was full of fire, and to this were brought the blind sheep, which being judged and found guilty, were all thrust into that abyss of fire on the earth and burnt. The abyss was on the right of that house, and I saw the sheep burning and their bones consuming. I stood beholding him emerge that ancient house while they brought out its pillars, every plant in it, and the ivory enfolding it. They brought it out and deposited it in a place on the right side of the earth. I also saw that Yahuwah of the sheep produced a new house, great and loftier than the former, which he bound by the former circular spot. All its pillars were new, and its ivory new, as well as more abundant than the former ancient, which he had brought out. And while all the sheep which were left were in the midst of it, all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of heaven fell down and worshipped them, petitioning them, and obeying them in everything. Then those three, who were clothed in white, and who, holding me by my hand, had before caused me to ascend, while the hand of him who spoke held me, raised me up, and placed me in the midst of the sheep, before the judgment took place.
The sheep were all white, with wool long and pure. Then all who had perished and had been destroyed, every beast of the field and every bird of heaven assembled in that house, while Yahuwah of the sheep rejoiced with great joy, because all were good and had come back again to his dwelling. And I saw that they laid down the sword which had been given to the sheep and returned it to his house, sealing it up in the presence of Yahuwah. All the sheep would have been enclosed in that house had it been capable of containing them, and the eyes of all were open, gazing on the good one, nor was there one among them who did not behold him. I likewise perceived that the house was large, wide, and extremely full. I saw, too, that a white cow was born, whose horns were great, and that all the beasts of the field and all the birds of heaven were alarmed at him and entreated him at all times. Then I saw that the nature of all of them was changed and that they became white cows and that the first in the midst of them spoke when that word was a wild ox upon the head of that wild ox were great and black horns while Yahuwah of the sheep rejoiced over them and over all the cows I lay down in the midst of them I awoke and saw the whole this is the vision which I saw lying down and waking then I blessed Yahuwah of righteousness and gave glory to him Afterwards I wept abundantly, nor did my tears cease, so that I became incapable of enduring it. While I was looking on, they flowed on account of what I saw, for all was come and gone by, every individual circumstance respecting the conduct of mankind was seen by me. In that night I remembered my former dream, and therefore wept and was troubled because I had seen that vision. That was the scripture reading of Kenoch or Enoch chapter 90. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom.